Ready.
home, big bro. What are you doing? kept you. You can have this. Night.
Yeah. Yeah. You're back. Hey! Night. Yeah. Yeah. Senpai.
the hell? Yeah. Sorry. You're back. They look good.
Big bro.
<laughs> oh, you're cute. You're the student who started working here today, right? I'll show you something fun the next time you're here. I'll see you again. And now, the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight.
it. I mean, we... Look, we're all meeting at Juness. Come over right away. Yosuke went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. Yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time, it was King Moron. K King Moron? You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? Why? What on earth is going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. Were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. Damn it! We came so far and now we're back to square one! Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Damn straight! We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Kanji-kun. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I know. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. And we promised the bear, too. Hey, that's right! Maybe Teddy knows something about this! Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. Huh? There's staff here? Now that's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. Is there some kind of campaign on today? Mascot? He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry? Eddie? Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Please don't tell me. Oh, he's here! Ah, this really hits the spot. What the? I mean, how'd you? It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Of course I can come out. There's an exit. It just never occurred to me to do it before. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. I did wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back, so I waited here for you. Oh, someone asked for my name, so I told them, I'm Teddy. So that's why. Yeah, there's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> and your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly... Totally and 100% alone! 
That's why I came over here. But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. Sensei is so cold today. It's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Moron was never on that side? Uh, what's going on? Hey, hey, I want to go somewhere. Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you want to go, anyway? I want to give this to Risei-chan. It's for her. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on, so I'm going to fight alongside you with everything I got. Don't think of me as the same cute little teddy. I'm an all-new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Today begins the new legend of Teddy! Wow, a new legend. People are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Okay, just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? No clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Then what? He was killed over here? Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? Yeah. Why only King Moron? Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Oh, I get you. That could be it. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Risei-chan's up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. Ah. <sighs> It's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Cut it out! There's kids watching! Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. Have a little consideration, man. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. Uh, can I... Can, can I feel it? No! Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear. <laughs> I trained and trained, hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan, and now I finally have an inside. Yeah, good job with that. Oh, come on, can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you I'm not hollow anymore. It's too hot! I can't stand it! It's so hot! Whoa! What the? Much better. Now that hit the spot.
Hey, Chie-chan, Yuki-chan. Yes? Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Teddy? Is that really you? Uh... Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Then don't, don't take the bottom part off. You need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. That's... Teddy? He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like... He grew himself a body in there? What kind of creature would do that? I mean... What is he? <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh hey, weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Let's head over to Rise's place. As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. It's finally the season for Topsicles again! Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. Sorry we're late. How did it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? Encourage him. I have to say, it totally blew my mind. But he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form. Got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. All right, you don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. <laughs> oh, man. If you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? Huh? What are you asking me for? Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. Oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> it ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. Sorry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? <laughs> Jeez, oh well. Here, Kanji, get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow, you're rich. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. Whoa, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. I'm glad Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. Charge? What? You put it on my account? Oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. What else were we supposed to do? That stuff was expensive, even for Juness. You seriously charged it to me? Why would 
would you do that? You know I just bought a motorcycle, I'm broke! So, if you're already broke, a little more debt isn't gonna make much of a difference. What? Come on, baby. Stop fighting over... Shut up! This is your fault, you know! You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Yo, Teddy. Don't let it get you down. Let's go get some topsicles. Let's go on ahead. I think they're going to be a while. Ah, I had a feeling you'd come. You're... Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Risei Kujikawa now? Jeez, why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Huh? Wait, you're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Muraoka has never appeared on television. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Well then, until we meet again. Who is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Oh, hi. Risei-chan, are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Huh? Sure, okay. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Ah, Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh. He's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Like, they found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Um, so... Hmm? What's up? Um, I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Huh? Oh, you don't have to thank us. Dude, she's so cute. Man, it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are Musette. Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do what comes naturally. I think everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just one. <laughs> it sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? Mm, 
Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Oh yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Um, you don't have to take them, but... Well... Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, all right? I do owe you my life, so, you know. Wow, I didn't realize you were so cool, senpai. This sure is a rough time to transfer here, though. The kidnappings, King Moron's death, all that and exams are soon, too. Oh, exams. Now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be cancelled. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Alrighty then. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Yo, how's it going? Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. Though if you count the ones I had before, that makes six. So I still win. No one asked. We're all done talking already. Let's go, senpai. Uh, when did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> so where's Teddy? He's over there, finishing up his fifth Topsicle. What are we gonna do with him? Well, I guess I'll take him home. Good evening. This is Nightline News. Our top story for the night concerns the latest developments in an ongoing story. The serial murder case in Inaba has claimed a third victim. The news shocked local residents, who have not seen another murder in three months, and assumed the spree had reached its end. The deceased taught at a local high school. Since his body was found arranged in a similar manner as the last two victims... What's wrong? Was it... Someone you know? He died? I'm alright. This marks the second consecutive death after Miss Saki Konishi's where the target was involved with Yasogami High. Mr. Morooka was known for his strict teaching methods and is said to have had constant friction with his students. The police will be pursuing this line of inquiry and are planning to begin a large-scale investigation tomorrow. We now turn to our reporter at the scene for more details. Dad won't be coming home again today. Do it again! <laughs> it moved! Hey, how did you do that? Tell me, tell me!
Welcome. It's been quite some time. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. How are things proceeding? Are you gradually drawing nearer to a solution to the mystery? Indeed, the fog clouding your path is thick. The season has changed, but your future is not yet closed. In time, a path will open to you. Our true reason for calling you here tonight is to provide a new form of assistance to help you achieve just that. Fusing personas. Have you been using our services diligently? The aid we will henceforth provide is an advanced form of fusion. I speak of the power to fuse four or more personas at once. I am quite certain that this will enable you to command even stronger powers. Now, your journey will soon reach its climax. And as a result, many challenges which I cannot foresee at present, await you. Most interesting. <laughs> well, until we meet again, farewell. Yo! Hey, is that stuff about King Moron for real? It was on TV, right? It must be true. Good morning. I'm Noriko Kashiwagi, your new class teacher starting today. You all probably know already, but now that Mr. Morooka has passed away, I'll be taking good care of you instead. <laughs> okay. Why don't we start off with a moment of silence for Mr. Morooka? Close your eyes, everyone. That should be enough. I'll do my best to fill Mr. Morooka's shoes. So, our regular exams are still on track for next week. As your principal said, it's times like these when the schedule is most important, Norichan. <laughs> Oh, it must be tough for you, but that's what it means to become an adult, little by little. I already can't stand her. First King Moron and now Kashiwagi? How much worse can it get? Oh, and one more thing. That idol in our first year class, Ms. Kujikawa, was it? In person? <laughs> She's nothing like she seems on TV, so don't get your hopes up, okay? What's so great about an idol, anyway? Right, class? She's just a piece of inexperienced jailbait. What's up with her? Does she think she's Rosette's rival? She doesn't stand a chance against Rosette. I mean, I heard Kashiwagi is on the wrong side of 40. I bet King Moron would have been ecstatic to hear Rosette had enrolled here. Someone told me they saw him buying Risei's pinup book. That sounds kind of pervy. He annoyed the hell out of me, but I feel bad that he got killed. Oh, you know what? Rosette was on a strip tease show. Huh? A strip tease? Dude, if that was true, the paparazzi would have been all over it. I'm serious, but the reception went bad right when it was getting to the good part. It was on that midnight channel everyone keeps talking about. You actually believe that crap? How friggin' dense are you? Trust me, you were dreaming it. 
The rumor about the Midnight Channel is spreading further. We'd better wrap this case up quick. Anyways, let's meet up later. Don't make any plans for this afternoon. Ugh. Finals are next week. It's been a while since I failed any subjects. Yeah. If by a while you mean all the time. Shut up! What you've ever seen my scores? But Chie always has above average marks in the subjects that she doesn't fail. Hey, hey! Why'd you tell him? My scores just... vary. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Reese John, you too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. It's just, I thought it would take me a while to make any friends at my new school. Too bad we met under such awful circumstances. Oh yeah, what do you guys think about King Moron's case? He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel even once. If this person had been inside the TV, I would have sensed it. My nose isn't as sharp now, but I can tell that much. But they found the body on a foggy day again, right? They said on the news that that crime scene was just the way it was for that announcer and Saki-senpai. I really wonder about the culprit's motives. Why was Mr. Moraoka targeted? Hope it wasn't personal. Because there's way too many people who ate a King Moron's guts. But didn't you say it's people who get famous on TV who are targeted? If the killer's choosing targets by watching TV, I picture him as someone who doesn't know the victims at all. I don't think it's worth trying to figure out motives for that type. There are too many people who hold grudges against you for no reason, even if you've never met them before. Huh. You sound like you speak from experience, Rise-chan. But with King Moron, he didn't appear on the Midnight Channel or the regular TV. Arr, I don't get this at all. Man, two victims in a row from our school. That's got to set off the police's alarm bells. They're not going to leave any stones at school unturned. You know, to be honest, somewhere deep inside, I thought maybe King Moron was the killer. The news says that he was the second victim from Yasugami High, but we all know that's not the case. And I've heard him say more than once that so-and-so deserves to die. But now, I feel bad that I doubted him. He was a capital A asshole, but that doesn't justify killing him. And not just King Moron. I feel sorry for all the victims. I can't forgive the killer, no matter what. Well, we'll do what we can, for King Moron's sake too. At this rate, you have to figure that the killer has something to do with the school, right? So why don't we split up and... That won't be necessary. Y you There is no need to examine the case of Mr. Moraoka any further. Why's that? Apparently, the police have found a suspect. It would be best to let them handle the case from here. How do you know? I'm on this case as a special investigator, by request of the prefectural police. What? They found a suspect? Who is it? As to his name, I haven't been informed. I do know that he is a high schooler. It isn't public knowledge yet, but he isn't a student of your high school. It seems they are quite confident that this boy is the killer. They have testimonies directly linking him with the incident. I expect it's only a matter of time before he is apprehended. Soon this case will be solved and your town will once again be its peaceful, rustic self. The suspect is a high schooler? All right. So why come tell us? That's confidential info, right? Why run right here and spill it? Your game will soon reach its end. I felt I should at least let you know that. You don't deny, then, that you have involved yourselves in the matter? Well, no matter. I have no reason to say anything further. A game? Aren't you the one who thinks of this as a game? I don't care if you're a special investigator or an amateur sleuth. All you're doing is solving mysteries. 
what could you possibly know about us? You're the one who's playing a game here. One of the victims? She meant a lot to me. How could I possibly treat this like a game? Plus, we made a promise. Y Yosuke! A game. <laughs> that may be quite true. But why so understanding all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. I was wondering why you'd be wandering around like this when the police have a suspect. What, did they get rid of you now that they have their man? Is that why you came here? You were lonely? Detectives normally aren't involved with arrests, and we never harbor any special emotions regarding a case either. Still, it is rather unfortunate that people are only attentive so long as our services are required. But then, I'm accustomed to it. Hmm. Much about this case was perplexing, but its solution was surprisingly simple. Well then, I'll be going now. Uh... What was that about? He just said his piece and left? Hmm... He said they have a suspect. But is this really gonna solve everything? <sighs> Who knows?
Yo! Yo! Yep. Big Pro? Thank you. Um...
Senpai. Yeah! Welcome back. Right!
Welcome! Thanks, man. I don't even know. 
Think, feel. Welcome back.
Nice work. I'm Sayoko Uehara. Nice to meet you. I'll see you again. Oh, senpai.